In Shalom 1, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, and Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. So I just want to go into today uh, how the Lord is going to protect the elect in the time of Jacob's trouble. In a time where all hell is breaking. You know, so I want to start here, and because that will be a Jake shovel, man, you know, and this is future prophecy. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 5, <clears throat> which was, but thus said, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace, you know, because as the scriptures say, the Lord is not coming to bring peace on earth. You know, they should say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. You know, then comes sudden destruction, man. So, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is not coming to bring peace to this place. You know, <clears throat> it says, Ask ye now and see whether a man do it travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man on his hands, with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. See, because this day is going to come up on, on this earth, upon the world, you know, mainly you so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, hey, it's going to be like none other, man. This devil coming down with great wrath, uh, hey, hey, because he know the time is short. Toss some uh, Israelites into FEMA camps, you know? Going door to door, kicking in your door, uh, kicking in your doors, falling your house, you know, taking your children, cutting off your resources. <clears throat> in a time where, in that uh, second as of fifteen, when you can't even you, you, your neighbors are going to be going door to door. You know, let's just get it. Real quick, real quick. <clears throat> I'm right back. Second is chapter 15. And verse, um, verse 14. It said, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw it not. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and scores in their hands. You know, this is that civil war. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They should not regard their kings nor their princes in the course of their actions to stand in their power. You got these um, people rising up against uh, authoritative officials, you know, rising up against the government, you know. <clears throat> it says, uh, a man, it's like, it says, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They should not regard their the kings, or the princes, in the course of the exodus, is done in their power. A man should desire to go into a city, and should not be able, for because of their pride, the city should be troubled, and the houses should be destroyed, and the men should be afraid. So this is going to come a, 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 to a town near you. It's going to come to your town, man. You know? <clears throat> it says, a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their houses with a sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You know, so let's, let's see what that says right there in the GMC. <clears throat> Let's look at this, the new translation, about the 15th verse, 15, 16 verse. <clears throat> Let's start at 14. Second is the 15, the G and T. Verse 14, it said, The word and the people in it are doomed. The war that will be the war that will bring the destruction is very near. Nations will arm themselves and fight against other nations. There will be great political turmoil, and one group trying to overpower another and gain control while ignoring the legitimate government. There will be no, there will no longer be free access to cities because the struggle for power will bring 
destruction, terror, and total confusion where people, wherever people live. Driven by famine and terrible suffering, people will assault their neighbors and mercilessly, like, and mercilessly plunder their possessions. Says the Most High said, "I am calling together." Now, like that was the, that was the point there. Yeah, that was the point right there. Well, stop at nineteen. So, but hey, this is this is coming to you, man. This is coming to this is coming to America. You know, that place that there was people sought out to be free. You know, they they wanted to come over here and, and, and um, you know live gloriously. You know. Jacob's trouble is coming. This is the book of um <clears throat> back in third, Jeremiah thirty and verse six. As far as go back to seven and last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that day is referring to I mean that he should like it is referring to the elect of the nation of Israel. How who the Habashmiel Shah will have mercy on in those days. You know, in a time of famine, pestilence, and destruction, the Habashim Yahushai is going to cover these men, protect them, these men, women, and children. That he already ordained from the beginning of the earth. You know, that grape of a cluster. It's, um, <clears throat> let's go to NIV. It says, how awful that day will be, no other will be like it. It, it, it will be a time of Jacob's trouble, but he will be saved out of it. Going to Daniel, going back up to Daniel 12, this is going to be a time like none other. And at that time, Daniel 12 and 1, and at that time, Michael shall stand up. The great prince will stand up for the children of God's people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was. There was, like, such as never was since there was uh, a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And Michael is going to get so bad that Michael will have to stand up for that people, man. You know? A time like none other on the face of the earth, a time that far surpasses anything that we have read about in the earth, man. Like a madman sparing none. Might as well get it, Daniel. Oh, this is Revelation. I quoted it earlier. Revelation 13 and 12. It's like Revelation 12 and 12. <clears throat> Therefore ye rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because ye know it, ye have but a short time. You know? Hey, this is what this devil is coming. This is what it's coming to, man, because he knows he's being revealed. And his time is short. He's been revealed as he saw that that serpent, you know, and, and, and these uh these so called jays over there in the, in the promised land, you know, in, in in Israel, and our land is being found out that they are not the true people of the Lord, man. <clears throat> With Russia open, opening the uh open up this museum, showing the world the icons that that the, that the uh. The people of the Bible were so-called black people, man. You know? This devil has been exposed on all sides. <clears throat> and showing that they could be touched at the end of the day. And they don't want they don't want that with uh with Russia, North Korea, or China. They don't want to go to war with Russia, North Korea, or China, man. So um, going right back to you know just got off topic just to, just to get back on topic um I want to go to second Ezra chapter 2 because in this time of trouble the Lord said chapter 2 is verse uh verse second Ezra 2 verse 27 <clears throat> it says be not weary for when the day of trouble in heaven has come others will weep and be sorrowful but thou shalt be merry and have an abundance. So this is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It's gonna um it's gonna cover his people, man. 
He's going to look after his people. Those who are of the elect. The heathen shall envy thee, but they should not, they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. But the heathen won't be able to do anything against but the elect, man. And it's time of famine, you know? The sort of, uh, the shortage of bread, you know? Of water. The scriptures say, <clears throat> let's see, uh, That's right, this is Isaiah 65. Let's start at, um, part at 12. <clears throat> Therefore, when I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter, or to two thirds of our people, because when I call, you did not answer. That's Proverbs 1. When I call, you did not answer. And he called him by the, by the mouth of his servants, the prophets, man. You know? We're the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. It says, When I called, you did not answer. And when I spake, you did not hear him. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose that where, where I delighted not. So he, did, he decided to do everything contrary to uh, coming back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, repenting, and, um, and, and being sorrowful, sorrowful for the sin you committed against him. You did, you did, you chose the things that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh would destroy you for. You chose to do that. You chose to do evil. You chose to do wickedness and stay wicked, man. You know? Because judgment wasn't executed speedily. It starts, it set it in uh, the hearts of men to do uh, wickedness, man. To do evil. And that's what our people do because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh ain't judging them that quick. Like right away, right after that uh, wicked deed, they feel like, hey, I'm, they just want to live that life. They just want to be in sin, man. They just want to continue to, to live in sin. Because that's, that's, that's what pleases them. That's what pleases their flesh. It says, um, verse 13, Therefore thus said the Lord power, the Lord, it says, um, <clears throat> Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. You know, those that serve the Lord is going to eat. He's going to He's going to provide. How about some of the is going to provide for his servants in the time of famine? Going right back into that second Exodus uh, two and twenty-seven. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Going right back to second as it's two or twenty seven, being merry and having abundance. You know? 
Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You know? Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for the vexation of spirit. So, in a time of uh, trouble, uh, right back into 2 Second 2 and 27, we're going to be merry in that time, man. You know? How the scriptures go is, uh, Job 5 and 24, 22 slot. You shall laugh at destruction and famine. You shall not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. <clears throat> this is because you're going to have that protection. So you have about your shadows, angels, and camping around about them. About you, those who fear the Lord and deliver them, man. Destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Job 5 and 22, for thou shalt be in the league with the stones of the fields, and the beasts of the earth shall be at peace with thee. And this is all because of that that, that spirit. It just starts with that fear you have by Shinao Sha. Starts the fear you have by Shinao Sha, man. You know? Because even in this time, when everybody else is losing it, wigging out, Losing their damn minds, dropping dead for the fear of the things that's coming upon the on the earth, and for famine and uh, if the lack of water, lack of bread, you know. The Lord said, "What He said, we are going to be stable." And wisdom, Isaiah thirty-three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh is His treasure. That is our treasure, man. To fear the Lord. Proverbs, <clears throat> Proverbs 1 and um, 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but food despise wisdom and instruction. So it's best to take heed while you can. Seek the Lord while he may be found. So with that being said, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about some of y'all with the dead fine double honors to the apostles, the elders of the millstone, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.